So this is guanidinium. It's small, very polar, and about the volume of two water molecules once you've included all the hydrogen bonding. It's cationic, that's it, bears a single positive charge and is one of the more pervasive motifs seen in biochemistry. For instance, it's isoelectronic, albeit not isoatomic, with another powerful denaturant, urea, which is the main mechanism by which you excrete nitrogenous compounds in metabolism. It also forms the side chain of one of the three cationic amino acids, arginine. The motif is seen here in the protein HIV protease, and it's stacked up against another cationic arginine. Now, you'd have thought, what would these being cationic residues, you know, that it would be very difficult to have, or very rare to have two positively charged groups next to each other. But it's actually a surprisingly common motif in protein structures. Further, the guanidinium motif is found, albeit in the neutral form, in the base pair guanine, where two of its hydrogen bonding structures help stabilize the core of the double helix of DNA.